I'd like to welcome everyone to Driver's Ed, and in today's class, the very first class, we are going to talk about the graduated driver's license system. So the gra graduated driver's license system is exactly what it says. You must make it through different levels to progress toward your driver's license. So where are we right now? We are right here, and we are wanting to get our learner's permit. So let's go through some of the things that are go you're going to have to do in order to obtain this learner's permit. Well, first of all, you have to complete and pass this driver's ed class. you got to have a driver's ed certificate in order to do that. You have to be at least 15 years old, but no older than 18. You must also live in North Carolina. Now, once you've done that, you're going to take a bunch of forms with you. We talk about that. Uh, call it the hand, and we'll go over that again and again. But then you're going to have to go through and pass three tests. You have to pass a vision test. You have to pass a sign recognition test, and you have to pass a knowledge test. Once you've done all of that, then you're going to pay $20, and then you can get your permit. So let's say that we have now got our permit. So if you have your permit, then the next thing is, is you're trying to get your limited provisional license or your level two license. So what are you going to have to do to get from your permit to your limited provisional license? Well, first of all, you must have 60 hours logged for your drive time. You, uh, the best way to do that is using the Road Ready app. Uh, also, uh, whenever you're driving, you must have a supervising driver in the front seat with you. Now, the only person that can be in that front seat is the supervising driver. Now, as long as you have a supervising driver with you in the front seat, then as many seat belts as you have in your vehicle after that, you can put that many uh, people. So if your back seat only has two seat belts, then you can only have two passengers. But if you're driving a minivan that has six, then you... That's fine, but always remember there's only one person allowed in the front seat with you, and that is your supervising driver. So who can be a supervising driver? Well, number one, a supervising driver can be your parents, direct parent or guardian, or your grandparents. Uh, secondly, it can also be anyone that your parents approves to be a supervising driver as long as they have had their driver's license for at least five years. So the next thing says that during this time period, from your learner's permit to your driver's license, you cannot have any tickets for using any electronics, cell phone violations, texting, anything like that. All right, during the first six months of your driving, then you can only drive from five till nine. The reason being is because we want you to only drive from 5 till 9, which is basically your daylight hours. Get a little bit of experience in when you can see a whole lot better. Secondly, the second six months, you can drive anytime. But again, all of those driving times, you must have a, a supervising driver with you. So now we're going to go from here. We're going to say, okay, we've got to our uh, final thing. And I did leave one thing out. What am I going to have to do in order to get my uh, limited driver's license, I'm going to have to pass a driving test. I left that out, but I'm going to put that in. So that is the fourth test that you have to do, and it is the driving test. Uh, that's your driving skills test, and that's going back over the things that we learn on the driving range. So let's say that you've got your uh, limited driver's license. How do you get your full provisional driver's license? Well, it takes another six months. So you have to be at least 16 years old. And then it says, um, at this time, you can drive without a supervising driver from five till nine. That means that you can drive by yourself. Now, just remember, you cannot just say, hey, y'all, come on, get in the car, everybody. No, can't do that. You can only have one person in your vehicle that is under 21 years of age. So when you're driving and you first start your driving, it is only from five to nine without a supervising driver, and you still have to have, or you can only have one person in the car with you. All right, so uh, from this, um, 
if you want to drive at night, then yeah, you can go ahead and drive at night, but you do have to have that supervising uh, driver with you. And again, you can't have any cell phone violations or any tickets or anything like that in order to go to your full provisional driver's license. After six months, you can go to your full provisional driver's license. You go back to the DMV's office. They're actually going to turn your driver's license sideways at this time, and that will become your full driver's license, and we've nicknamed them after nines. Now, why do we call them after nines? Because now you can drive anytime, even after nine o'clock, without a supervising driver. How many passengers can you have in your vehicle? If you have your full provisional driver's license, then you can have as many people in the vehicle as you have uh, seat belts. So if you have four seat belts other than yourself, then you can have four of your friends with you. But if you only have another seat belt, then you can only have one other friend. So that pretty much sums up your path from starting at, at 15 years old and going from your uh, learner's permit to your limited provisional license to your full provisional license. I hope that's helped.